This is the first time I'm seeing. This floor looks so good. I love the color, you guys. There's like so many different variations in it. I really like it a lot. And this is the upstairs flooring. Sorry for the noise, guys, but look how incredible that wood floor finish looks. I am obsessed. And then over here, they just stained this room, which look how beautiful the color looks in here. And then this is also sealed. You can kind of see how the sealer just, I don't know, finishes off the floor. It looks incredible. Bona natural seal. Oh, wow. You guys are about to scream. You're about you're about to scream. Like look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at the book match in the middle. That looks so freaking good. I love the color tones in there. And look at the side panels. I'm so excited for them to add the other side piece too because it actually is a continue flow of like the exact marble piece. So it should actually just flow over to the side because we're gonna be putting a side piece here and then a shelf across the top, shelf across the top here, shelf across the top here. It's going all the way down here as well. And look behind the stove. Look at this piece of marble. Oh my God. I don't have words like I just I'm so it is just so freaking good. I'm obsessed you guys. Let me do like a little pan situation. Oh my gosh, look how stunning and look at the countertop right here. Wow. Can you guys believe my dried hair looks like this? Like what? I'm about to fix it with a little straightening iron. And yes, I do this every single day to my hair to get ready, but it only takes me like five minutes. Like I do it really, really quick. And then I always go back through and really give the front pieces like a big curl. So I try to give them like a big twist. So then we're gonna grab a little bit of this product. It's Living Proof Full Dry Volume Texture Spray. Looks like that. Do this with it. And you kind of mold it. I'm also gonna take my Ritual Vitamin, which I have been taking my Ritual Vitamins actually for probably over a year. I've probably gone through a solid eight bottles of these vitamins, but this is what they look like. They're little tiny daily multivitamins. And I love taking the Ritual multivitamins because my favorite feature about Ritual is this little tablet they put inside the bottles that make all of the little capsules actually taste like mint, which is so much nicer than that traditional like fish oil, like that really awful taste from vitamins. And one of the main reasons that I started taking my Ritual multivitamin was because even if you eat like a great diet, which I will let you 
you guys know, I am not the best when it comes to a healthy diet. So I love taking a multivitamin because it allows me to feel like I'm getting in essential nutrients elsewhere. So if I don't feel like I got it for the day, at least I took my essential multivitamin. So I got a little bit of it in there somewhere. And inside of the multivitamin for men in particular, there are 10 traceable ingredients. I love how their ingredients are traceable. So they actually have a viewable supply chain where you can see where the ingredients that you're putting in your body are actually coming from, which just gives you more of peace of mind when you go to take, you know, a multivitamin or something new that you might not be used to taking. Rituals vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, and no additional colorants are added. And I also just think their packaging is so pretty. This is such a great bottle of, you know, capsules just to have displayed. I like how the packaging is, and I also love the color of the capsules. I know a very random thing, but for us interior designers, having things displayed like this on the counter, quite nice when it's pretty. Oh, and I also got to mention, you guys, that I've recently started taking their Symbiotic Plus as well, which is a pre, pro, and postbiotic for gut health. You don't have to refrigerate it at all, which is a great perk of taking this product because I can leave it just right next to my other one. These sit on the bathroom countertop, and whenever I'm brushing my teeth or getting ready in the morning, I just grab them and I'm good to go. If you're interested or want to find out any more information, use the link at the top of the description box below or the one on screen here. It is ritual.com slash lonefox20, and then also use promo code lonefox20 at checkout, which is exclusive for you guys to get 20% off of your first month. Okay, I think I want to add just a little fragrance, a little fragrance. We are good. So what is on the schedule for today? First things first is we are going to head over to the new house to see the final marble install. It is completely finished. Omar and the team had completely finished it off yesterday. They added two coats of the sealant. I've seen it around 60% complete, but I'm so excited to see what it actually looks like. And then I also have a random story. Um, Marie had a friend come over this weekend and they were going out to a bar and I was just talking to them. We were all interacting and she ended up saying that she worked for a company called Meoded which actually looks like this, M-E-O-D-E-D, -E -D, and they specialize in wall treatment. So she went to her car and got her meoded swatches. So these are some of the ones that she left with me. These are the ones that I was most interested in, but basically this company specializes in specialty wall treatments that you can actually do yourself. So you can literally have your walls look exactly like this, and it's a mixture of plaster, clay, there's even sand products. This is another one that I absolutely loved. Like. Look at that texture. It just looks like a wall in Tulum or in Italy. And then these ones here are some of their Roman clay samples. But they can color match absolutely anything. And I think I want to stop by the showroom today. There's a restaurant in Los Angeles called Great White. And it's in Larchmont area. If any of you have ever been there, you might have recognized the wall treatment that they have going on in there. And I, every time I'm in that restaurant, I stare at the walls. I touch the walls. Like, I'm admiring them. So I want to see if they have a product or share with them the photos and just kind of check out a couple more of the samples they have there for wall treatment just to keep in mind what they do have for other makeovers in the space or even to potentially change up the color in the living room because I've only done one wall so far so I feel like if I do change it to maybe something like this which is a little intense we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes um at least I can start it now and not later after I finish all the lime wash I'm over at the house and I'm about to turn the corner right now to see the kitchen oh I still haven't gotten the full reveal yet. We have this. Oh my gosh. And let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at this, you guys. Look at the marble in here. Oh my gosh. This is absolute insanity. Look at all of this marble, you guys. So the marble goes all the way down the wall here. This continues all the way down. Look how incredible they got it like under the edge. It goes all the way up the wall. Now with placement, I totally should have realized that there's gonna be two kind of similar pieces next to each other, but that's my own fault. I didn't catch that with placement, but I'm gonna put something in the corner anyways, so it's probably gonna distract from that. And then on the back, I did a taller backsplash just to utilize more of the marble slab I figured that behind here I want to do a rod across the top like a brass rod to hang pots off of so I wanted it to go higher to give clearance for the pots now I also believe I'm going to be getting a new range for this kitchen because the range downstairs is extremely old so I want to swap this one to go downstairs and then get one that matches the style of this kitchen a bit more look at the shelf you guys it's on top and then working our way to the left 
side, we have three shelf sections here. So there's one right over here, one in the middle, and then one on the left side. And something that I wanted to make sure that we did was really cut out and make the shelf flush with the sides of the marble. That way it just looked like one piece, you know? And I love how the marble flows into the backsplash. But I gotta say, my favorite part of the entire kitchen is actually the book match right down the center. I love, love, love how this looks. Like how the marble is mirrored on either side. It like makes such a moment for washing your dishes. Imagine washing your dishes right here. Like, oh, I am so lucky to have this incredible sink and just, oh my gosh, look at the veining in here. It is gorgeous. I wanna put like a little piece of decor up here to get like an idea. Here we have some studio pottery, let's see. Look how good that looks up there. I mean, it's not staying there, but like just to be able to display and add decor items on top of these shelves, I love it. I love it so much, you guys. I can imagine, I can picture right now those faux breads that I got, the foam ones, just sitting right on top. I just made it to the Neoted showroom and I am looking at some of the wall treatments. I am so, so excited about this. These are so interesting. They have so many different kinds of treatments that you could put on your wall. Like you can do this on your wall. It looks like old wallpaper. Almost like a, like a travertine look on the wall. Depending on how hard you burnish. Yeah, you get the different mm -hmm. like texture. Yes. So you can get a dead flat, you can get a matte, and then when you put a wax on it, you can get a low sheet. Got it. This is Venetian plaster. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Starting this morning off at Eric's Architectural Salvage, I came to look for some tile because they have the most tile I've seen at any architectural salvage place. And I really wanna add a border to the top of the marble that's on the arched walkthrough that goes through the breakfast nook area just because I feel like a border trim would look so cute up there. So I'm just checking out my options. They have a ton of different border options. They have vintage and then even some, I believe, newer tiles as well. Look at all these individual little tiles. this fountain is. Imagine taking this out of the house. I love these lights right here. Those are really fun. You guys can probably guess where I'm at. From the background. I'm back at Revival Antiques just picking up those lights that I had uh, lengthened a bit because when they brought them over they were just a little bit too short so I had them lengthened. Floor lamps. So special. All of them. I love this one. How it hangs. So cute. I think this is so cool. Like, as you can see, this one over here is a pot rack, like an iron hanging pot rack, but this one actually is a chandelier and a pot rack mixed. If you had like a kitchen with a big island, I feel like this would be such a cool little accent to add in there. Just picked up the lights. They made them a little longer for me, but look how stunning the patina looks on the metal. I am so excited to hang these in the kitchen. Since I'm currently in Pasadena, I figured I might as well also check out the Pasadena Architectural Salvage, which is where I found those stained glass doors. So we're headed there now. Here is the stained glass area. This is where I found those two doors last time. And I figured while I was here, I'm gonna check out to see if they have anything for one other window I'm looking at. molding store this morning because I cannot find molding at a Lowe's, a Home Depot, anywhere. I've been to three already. Look at all of this molding, you guys. So we're trying to find something that's about three and a quarter inch wide to go with this three and a half inch rosette. This is the shape that I ended up going with. You can't really see it too much here. This is what the profile looks like on the side. There weren't too many options that fit the width of this particular rosette, but I think this is gonna look really nice. 
I spent all morning gathering supplies for this window trim because I want to tackle another project in the kitchen. Like I am so moving full force in here. I'm just super inspired at the moment and I want to get the window trim up because currently, as you guys can see, the windows are looking like this. The brick was of course removed from the wall because it was fully tiled before and there was upper cabinets here and there was upper cabinets over on this side as well. So when we removed the brick, of course the trim, there actually was no trim in here before. It was completely covered with the brick. So I'm gonna go in and add my own wood trim and we're gonna start framing out the windows. First used some liquid nails and then used a brad nailer to secure down the trip. This right here was the stain that I used in the living room for the window trim. It's actually a stain in poly in one step and I have a little bit of extra trim here. So I'm actually going to test this color really quick on the trim to see what it looks like. Staining the windows was actually extremely straightforward. I just used a cotton rag on the trim sections and then I used a small paintbrush to get into the detailed sections of the rosettes. Wow, that looks so good. I love the way that, that window trim looks. I love how the staining also looks like a little inconsistent. Makes it look kind of more, like it's not just freshly added, like it's been there for a little. Morning, I popped over to see the window trim today and it looks so good. It's very overcasty today, so it's pretty dark in here at the moment. Something else I also kind of want to see is just get an idea for what the pendant lights look like. And you guys saw that I picked those up at Revival Antiques and look how incredible these are, you guys. They are these lanterns, which I love the idea of a lantern in a kitchen because I feel like it's an untraditional like interior light. You know, you don't really see this in the kitchen. So I'm going to be hanging this lantern right about here-ish, if you can kind of get the idea of that. But I thought I'd give you guys the look of that. I'm hanging right around here-ish, which I am so excited about. It's gonna look so good. I love the amber glass in here as well. But something I will say is that the kitchen is coming along. The next steps I actually wanna do in here is finish removing the tile out of here. But I do wanna remove the appliances first, just so I can roll them on the tile. I kind of stopped that first day realizing I need to get the appliances out and then remove the rest of the tile. Then we can figure out what we're doing for floor tile, which I have a couple of options Probably start sharing some of those with you guys in the next video And I also do need to pick a paint color for the cabinets, which we have 
options here. I am leaning more towards like a minky kind of like medium cool toned brown shade. Almost like this one right here. It's called Char Brown in the middle. It's kind of hard to see. Something in me too also wants a green kitchen though. I love a green kitchen. Absolutely love. But I just feel like green kitchens became a thing way too quick. And I feel like having a green kitchen now is just like almost cliche in a sense i don't know like i could even do like a reddish toned brown if i wanted to because there is like a little bit of the viola in the top which would pull out some of the purpley tones the painting is going to be approaching rather quickly so i do want to think about what color i want to use definitely no i am steering dark for sure and then we have the wall treatment which i might do a roman clay on the walls that's kind of what i'm thinking at the moment i don't think i'm gonna do tile that was an original idea i had but after seeing the marble and kind of keeping it focal i kind of want to keep it focal you know but I will let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope that you enjoyed another process in the reno videos. The kitchen is coming along swimmingly. I've been wanting to use that word lately. So I'm glad I, I put it in here. But I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.